All right, I finally have ass. Well, my car does at least. We're gonna start just by using the come to me feature. You can also send it to a target or use dumb summon, which you just press and hold the buttons and it's gonna go forward and backwards. Uh, there's other systems like this. Um, I think BMW has one. Hyundai has remote smart park assist. I've talked about that before, but uh, this has that, but this is a whole different level. And uh, we're gonna get it to drive to me right now. So it's gonna go ahead and start reversing, which I love watching it reverse because that's just something that autopilot and FSD don't do yet. But I love also watching it in the camera feed on my phone. It's really helpful. Oh, there she goes. And as you can see here, it's constantly searching for a way and that is not gonna work. So it's gonna need to get itself out of that situation because there's a wall there. So let's see what it does. All right, so it's going to start by reversing here. And I'm very interested to see what it's going to do here because I want to see if it obeys normal traffic laws or not, because <laughs> that is not an entrance, I don't think, down that way. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a two lane, actually. Let's see. So it's going to come to a stop right there and go and then wrap its ray around here. Good stuff. And is it gonna turn in? Yes, nice. Oh, okay, didn't like that. Yeah, see, it's trying to figure it out. Can't go that way. I think it finally figured something out. Yep. All right, come through the cones. No, go through the cones. Bummer. I think there's yellow lines there, so, oh, okay. Sure, do that. It's actually insane that an hour ago, my car didn't do this. Tomorrow. All right, so I waited overnight and now I'm in a parking lot. I tried to find a place that wasn't super busy with like a lot of people, but still had a lot of cars. So I put it way over there and it's kind of woven in between all of these different aisles. So I'm gonna see how well it does getting to me all the way over here. And I'll show you guys the GoPro shot so you can see from the car's perspective. All right, so we're already interacting with a car here. So you can see on the, might be able to see on the screen, I'll put it on screen so you can see, but car behind us here and it's doing fine. Still coming around. We're going six miles per hour. And there she is. All right, got about 30 feet away from me. All right, it's like way over there in the corner. So we'll see how it does. This is interesting because it's interacting with cars behind it as well. So it's gotta be really careful. And obviously the sidewalks and there is a door to like a, uh, like a garbage area. There we go. Ah. 
I honestly think it's doing better with more cars than it did in a wide open parking lot. I'm not gonna set up the big camera for this one because I'm in the Meyer parking lot and I don't wanna go stand by the front door with a big old camera, but I'm going to go stand at the front. I parked kind of in the back of the parking lot here just to see, I, I kind of wanted to pull up alongside the building and go down the side so that it can interact with kind of those stop signs or people pulling in and out and just see how it does. It's been so smooth, it's almost boring. All right, I'm gonna make it actually go across this little road right here. This is still a parking lot. I don't think it's a public road, so I think it'll do it, but could be weird. So it came to a stop there, which is good. Yeah, I mean, it handled that perfectly. Again, no issues. It stopped, it checked both sides, went across, came right to me. The system works really, really well. All right, so I just wrapped up my last actually smart summon test, and I wanted to kind of give some final thoughts on using it for just the last day. Obviously, this software is going to get better and better. In fact, I think it's already gotten a little better since the initial really tiny rollout that went out a couple of weeks ago. I really didn't have any issues outside of that very first time where it kind of like thought it could cross a sidewalk and kind of just pulled into a parking spot and stopped. Outside of that and that like really aggressive braking that it did on that first run, it's been really, really smooth for me. And in wide open parking lots, it's worked really well. In really condensed parking lots, it's worked really well. It stays away from stuff. It, you know, it's obviously got a limited speed at six miles per hour or whatever the max speed is, but I think that will continue to get better. So some improvements that it could make. I think the video feed could be a little bit smoother. It's a little bit choppy. And in places where you're not gonna have very good reception, it's gonna be even worse. So I think I can improve that, smooth that out a little bit. I think it's a given that they're getting rid of the continuous press. So right now you have to hold down the button, whether you're sending it to a target or saying, come to me, have to hold it down. That'll go away. They'll make it to where you just click the button one time and it'll go, which will be really, really interesting to see how that interacts with like issues and things. The other thing that is coming soon is integration with Homelink garage door controls and MyQ garage door controls. I have MyQ and uh, I would love to see and to test it opening up the garage, pulling the car out and closing the garage. I think that'd be so cool. Also, I'm super excited to use Banish too, where it will kind of go away and park itself it's gonna be really awesome. The whole ecosystem's kind of starting to line up right in time for this RoboTaxi announcement here next month. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Actually Smart Summon. Have you used it? What's your experience been like? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.